Hi, if you need Lavodi here, Tech Support and Enabling Devices. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of our most popular switches, the Ultimate Switch, item number 1671. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to set up the Ultimate Switch, um, how to use the clamp, and there's a couple of uh, added features with the, with an, uh, an adapter here we have, but I'll get into that in a minute. But I also wanted to mention this is item number 1671. This is a 19 inch gooseneck that we have here. We also make the ultimate switch in two other versions, item number 1552 which is a 12 inch gooseneck, same switch and clamp setup, and then we also make an even shorter version, number 1551 which is a 6 inch gooseneck, and again same clamp, everything else is the same, the only difference is the length of the gooseneck, certain applications you may need a shorter switch, but the most popular model is this one, the number uh, 1671 with the 19 inch gooseneck. Uh, we have a new design for 2012. We've we have a new clamp system here with the ultimate switches, and I'd like to just spend a moment to show you how that works and some of the nice, really neat features that these the new clamp has. Um, there's a set screw here which you loosen up, and then there's a quick release button so that you can take this on and off pretty quickly. And if you have extra clamps, you can just have those set up at different locations if you need be. But to install it you set the screw back the set screw out all the way and then depress this spring release and it will lock the clamp in place. Now it's not going to move but if you want to make it extra secure you can just tighten this up. So another feature about this clamp it has a very wide jaw which will allow you to with the V groove here and this is also um, has a rubberized very hard rubberized finish so it's non marring so it won't scratch up your wheelchair or any other type of surface that you're putting it on. This this V channel is made for tubular or, or oval type surfaces, so on a wheelchair, it will tighten up and hold really secure. Now, when you're using this with a tabletop, there's a nice little component here that's attached in the back. This is a wedge insert. This gives you a really nice. It just pushes in. It's press fitted. This gives you a really nice flat surface for mounting on tabletops or bed rails or even a tray. Uh, also, again, it has a rubberized finish on it, so it's non-marring. So what you would do is, if you're going to be mounting this to a table, you just open the jaw up by backing off the set knob to the proper opening, then put it up against your table and tighten this up with your hand until it's secure. And now this is a very secure mount. So I'm going to show you right now how the ultimate switch works. Uh, with the device. We're, our example here is we're going to use our appliance module number 1490 and there's a video on our website um, that I'm extracting that as well so you can check that video out as well. But basically I'm just going to plug my switch in here to the input jack. This device has two features latch and momentary so I'm just setting it to momentary to show you. You just need to press on this ball and the light's going to stay on as long as I depress the ball once I let it go it's going to shut off. This switch requires very little activation force. It is probably one of the lightest switches that we do make. It only requires 10 grams of force and what does that mean to the general public? A gram would be the, the amount of weight of a standard office paper clip. So if I took 10 office paper clips and put them on top of this ball, it would activate the switch. That's how light it takes to activate this. So this is a great, great head switch or any body part can activate. You only need to move about three quarters of an inch of movement. Hi, today we're here with Ben and we're going to demonstrate uh, two of our products together. It's our item number 1671, the ultimate switch on a 19 inch gooseneck. And we're going to demonstrate that with our, our single appliance module number 1490. So I want to show how easy this is to use and set up. We're going to clamp this onto Ben's wheelchair. And I'm going to adjust this out for Ben so he can activate this. And then just plug it in. Okay. Yep, that's it. What we're doing next here is we're mounting the ultimate switch to the back of Ben's wheelchair 
on one of the arm supports so that Ben can use his head to activate the ultimate switch to turn the light on and off. We're going to mount this to the bottom of um, Ben's uh, leg support for his wheelchair so he can use his leg to activate the ultimate switch. If you need to change the orientation of your clamp, you're able to do that with our new mounting clamp. Um, I'm releasing the clamp from the mount. Uh, and what I mean is, normally if you put the clamp on this way, the ultimate switch is going to stand up vertically. Um, you may not have a position where you can mount the clamp in this disorientation and you need to um, attach the clamp on a horizontal plane. So what we've added to this is a, an adapter to allow you to do that. And the way that's done is this bracket fits over the end of the gooseneck, it snaps in place, and there are two threaded inserts here for you to attach this with included mounting screws. There are two Phillips head screws. And what you want to do is, when you put this in place, at the end of the gooseneck there's a flared out part. You want to start just past that so that it's it gets completely flush with the clamp so that it holds good. If you put it here it's not going to sit properly and you're not going to be able to tighten it up. But this is in nice and tight. So there you have it, the ultimate switch number 1671. This item can be purchased via our website at enablingdevices.com, our mail order catalog, or our toll free 800 number 1-800-832-8697. Benny Lavodi here for Tech Support Enabling Devices. Thanks for stopping by and hope you enjoyed our video.